fresh series, first race in La Paix, in Monaco. And look at it. We are getting all the presents to get ready for the season. Bikes are ready. Tony Ferreira is gonna use the 160. I'm gonna use the 140 for the cross country. I'm quite nervous, quite nervous, like a junior. Look at this. I have even my racing pants under the jeans, and this is junior times, you know. So um, we're going out for training, check the courses, and we will see new experience, new dimension for us, e-bike racing. Hi guys, I'm Tony Ferreiro. I'm an enduro racer from Merida, and this is my bike. This is the E160. It's a carbon frame with different wheel size. This bike has a 160 millimeters in the front and in the rear, and it's a pure enduro bike. And I think it's the best bike for riding today. Uh, have fun! Well, this is new for everybody. Now we are at technical zone area checking bikes. So actually in the past, uh, it was not necessary to do these things in front of a race. But now with the e-bikes, they are checking with the computer. They are checking if the motors, they are under the regulations, EU regulations. Uh, you don't sneak some power in the engine. So this is the technical zone and they check the bike. Ooh, and we even get the stickers. One sticker, we have to put it on the wheel. Second sticker, we have to put it at the charger. And the third sticker, we have to put it at the battery area here to mark the bikes and avoid that everybody changes the battery, charge the battery during the race or change the back wheel. That actually with these three systems, they control that all the bikes are under the regulations. Stickers for the bike. Actually, they told me go to the West Series, it's gonna be vacations. Nothing like this. E bike, really steep climbs, really technical, a lot of rocks, slippery routes. It's gonna be a, a massacre. You will see, it's gonna be really fun. Big, big fun with the e bike. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Ready, ready to qualification. One lap full gas on the cross country. Saturday afternoon. Let's see. New experience. Qualification done, uh, top 10, I think is a pretty good result. So I set up, get used to the bike, and now charging batteries. Tomorrow is another day.
weekend was perfect. No problems. The stages, well, a bit tired, but the A160 perfect, so smooth, no noise. And the weekend awesome with the team. I'm happy. Okay, that's the real, real exam. First World Cup e-bike in my life. One hour, six laps, full gas on the cross country. Yesterday we have a time trail. I got the ninth position, so it's gonna decide the starting position. We have a whole shot, you can see it on the back. So, what else? Full gas, one hour. Oh my god, electric. That was a tough one, really tough one. Look at that. Close to 170 average and 186. This is like a terrible normal walk up in my old times. So I suffer like hell. Really funny, like always, I like this kind of games. But you know, this is a proper sport. Everybody says e-bike, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 you have to do it. You have to do a race. Proper, proper suffering. So, everything to learn. I don't know the position, we will see. The bike was perfect, carbon stable, really light in the downhills, in the uphills also. 29, 27 in the back, the 27 was better for acceleration, and the engine, the 8000 from Shimano. So, about the bike, I'm pretty happy. About myself, a lot to learn, a lot to improve. See you next one. Ciao, amigos.